Nobody gets a chance to play all the games they want to play. There's just not enough time in the world. We can't vouch for the quality of everything on this list. But these are the games that caught our attention and you might want to keep an eye on. And if we did miss a great game, let us know about it in the comments. So without further ado, here's January 2014. In a nutshell, Nidhogg is a two-player competitive fencing game with some of the constructs of something like football or tug-of-war. Each player is trying to impale the other one so they can run to the opposite side of the map. It's a really satisfying little fighting game, and rounds can last anywhere from a minute to well over an hour if you're playing with someone you're matched equally with. I dreamt we never left home. The Banner Saga is a turn-based strategy game set in a Norse fantasy universe. Think Oregon Trail meets XCOM with Vikings. It's got branching dialogue trees and plenty of number crunching, but the hand-painted look of the game is really what sets it apart. Where have all the skateboards gone? Oli Oli is a 2D skateboarding game for the Vita that bases itself on the elusive perfect run. There's no room for error, you have one life, and there's a restart button permanently fixed on the screen. It's set up for fiending scores, and with daily challenges and online leaderboards, it should scratch that itch. Where is she? Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Double Fine's wildly successful Kickstarter campaign has finally come to fruition. The first part of Broken Age released on January 28th, and gosh if it isn't swell. You can check out our full review here, but the long and short of it is that Broken Age straddles a near-perfect line between the nostalgia of an old point-and-click game with the presentation and polish of something newer. Part 2 can't come fast enough. This is your neighborhood. There are dozens of people just like you. Sooner or later, they're going to try to get your money. It looks In the Castle Doctrine, you're a man with a family and $2,000 cash. It's an online multiplayer game, and the object is to protect your loved ones and loot from intruders. Once your house has been carefully booby-trapped, you can venture off into the neighborhood and try to break into other players' similarly protected homes. It's got a morbid premise, but the scope of its online is intriguing to say the least. You risk your own life breaking into other people's houses, hoping to build up your funds. I think some of my army men are still buried there. Rest their souls. <laughs> of course I had to. You want their body? Octodad, the deadliest catch, is about a father just trying to do right by his family. He also happens to be an octopus in disguise. Octodad is a fully fleshed out version of developer Young Horse's original Octodad. It's a game in the vein of co-op or surgeon simulator that uses unmanageable controls to spur laughs. It's a really endearing little game, but it can also be a bit long in the tooth. Check out our review below. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, I hope that was helpful, and if there's a game that you love, tell people about it. Don't keep games a secret. They don't keep secrets from you.